what's up everybody what I have here today is a case for the iPhone 7 plus now it is from Spigen and is available for the iPhone 7 as well as the iPhone 7 plus as you guys can see it is the ultra hybrid ultra hybrid sorry with the air cushion technology and on the back we have some simple installation instructions which is uh, basically telling you which corner to press in in what order as well as the easiest way to remove the case if you wish to do so on the bottom we have the naming Spigen Ultra Hybrid iPhone 7 Plus in black there is a picture of it of the front and back now uh, there is different color variants I went to I went with the one that is the black uh, bumper with the clear back because I do like the matte black finish of the iPhone 7 Plus I'll get into why I got the black version a little bit later on in the video so for now let's open it as you can see it says try a pull tab for easy opening of the packaging inside we have the case itself in a plastic bag and nothing else okay very simple let's put that aside and get the case out of the packaging opening the plastic bag you see the case and what looks what seems to be a plastic screen protector on the case which will protect it from uh, any scratches during shipping so nice to see that buttons seem uh, raised for easy pressing large cutout for the dual camera and the flash you can zoom in here for you guys remove protective film Spigen nice there is actually none on the inside only on the outside so uh, let's get this off and uh, get it onto the phone it is really tough to take off as you guys can see I'm struggling behind the camera if you don't have nails then uh, it'll be a little difficult it's gonna take some playing around to get it off the screen protect the protective film sorry goes right into the corner so you really really gotta dig into it but once you do dig into it you will get it pulled up and uh, simply pull off there you go nice and clear now uh, let's follow the installation steps on the back of the packaging one two three and four starting with the top left top right bottom left bottom right there you go easy as that couldn't be any simpler now even after wiping it off on my pants you can see uh, it does attract fingerprints a lot of fingerprints as uh, any glossy surface will large cutout for the dual lens camera the microphone and the flash buttons which seem uh, easy to press I mean it will be a little tougher with the case but uh, nothing too bad nice big cutout for the silent switch which is the easiest I've seen on any case so far large cutouts for uh, the speaker and the lightning connection as well no complaints so far as you guys can see the corners are raised a little bit just enough to uh, keep the camera bump off of a flat surface as you guys can see it does keep it raised just enough to stop it from being scratched on the table which is always good when you're paying uh, such a high price for a phone now let's take a look at it there is the back now I went with the clear back like I said because of the matte black finish of the phone I like it and I went with the black bumper because if you get the clear bumper you can see the mechanism of the buttons as well as the small dust and debris that does get into it which annoys the hell out of me so I went with the black bumper and the clear back so that's basically it for the case I mean just take a look at it the back does get fingerprints but that's the sacrifice you have to use that's the sacrifice sorry you have to give up when using a case that is a glossy finish to it so that's just about it here's another close-up of the volume buttons and the silent switch cutout nothing too fancy it's a simple case it's not going to offer the most protection but uh, it is certainly better than not having anything on the phone at all and still keeping the style of the iPhone 7 Plus as you guys can see power button uh, power sleep wake button presses very easily and there you have it guys be sure to subscribe if you haven't I will be doing a review on the iPhone 7 
as well as rumors about the S8 and G6 which is coming soon as well. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't and follow on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter.